Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to get yourselves some nature mints. That can go for any mint, going from adamant all the way to serious. So, I actually don't wanna beat around the bush on this one. The only thing I want you guys to know is that you can help support what we do here on the channel by checking out our Patreon page. That is patreon.com forward slash Pokemon collection. And if you really want, you could become a YouTube member instead. Completely up to you. Both benefit us just the same, and they will also give you the same benefits as well. If you want to create your own Pokemon, shiny, non-shiny, competitive, non-competitive, however you want, you can join the Discord server. That is discord.gg forward slash Pokemon collection. And all of those benefits that you get from being a patron or a YouTube member do go hand in hand with joining the Discord server. So you're going to get a bunch of stuff that you didn't think you needed until you get it by doing so. All right. So let's go ahead, get into this video, get some nature mints, start changing up our Pokemon the way that we want to change our Pokemon. And this will complete the code bot line for now. Before, the only thing you can do is catch a bunch of Pokemon or get the Pokemon that you wanted. Now you have the option of mochis nature mints soon we'll have bottle caps bottle caps are great so we're going to be able to try to make these as close to legitimate as possible and maybe we'll get some eggs on the egg bot later on we'll see we'll find out without further ado let's get into the video thank you for sticking with my rambling and let's catch ourselves some trade fodder over here there are a few things around us now to get here you fly to your house and walk all the way out here this is the first route of the game so what we're going to do is catch ourselves a random pokemon let's catch ourselves a tarantula what we're gonna do is throw our favorite ball a quick ball at it you'd think my profile picture would be a quick ball at this point but gotta keep the brand in regular you know what i'm saying not the brand done but the brand ding anyway once we get it caught we're gonna back out of this little pokedex screen open up the menu and we're gonna go over to our newly caught trade fodder push a Check summary, change nickname by pressing X, back all the way up, and we're gonna name it Adamant, not Adam Ant but it is adamant actually and i'll never unsee that so adamant and then we're gonna go press the l button here on our left joy con and that's going to connect us to the internet i say it in a lot of videos but you do need nintendo switch online because you're not my next door neighbor and you're not stealing my wi-fi so you can't connect to me unless you connect online so go over to your pokey portal and we're going to go into link trade now what you're going to see is that there's a one two four seven one two four eight code here the codes that we have have are one two four seven one two four seven and they go all the way down to one two four seven one two five five you can find those in the description below in case you forget those you'll also find the nicknames for all of these mints as well what i do want to note is the reason why i was using one two four seven one two four eight is because i ran into a fellow using one two four seven one two four seven which made me super duper happy i had to re-record this video unfortunately because some stuff happened in the last recording and it was all messed up and stuff but thank you so much for using these bots that's exactly what they're here for burn it up use it as much as you can as much as you want do know though if you go into one of these codes and you see somebody that's not named pkcl do note that the other codes are there and that eventually especially if these codes get too flooded we are going to have a paid option which it's looking like that might be something that could be happening soon and i'm very happy not because of the paid option but i'm very happy that these are getting used that these are seeing use because it was a big fear of mine whenever i started this that nobody would care so i'm grateful to see that people are using these sys or not sys bots but using these code bots and taking full advantage of what I've built. So thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for making almost $11,000 worth of switches back there and over here that you can't see. They're, they're just at just a camera shot, but thank you for making that usage of monetary value worthwhile. Now, 1247-1248 is the code we're gonna be using in this because I don't wanna interrupt anybody using 1247-1247. Never thought I'd be doing that, but thank you. Now it says a trade partner's been found and it should say PKCL up in the top left-hand corner if it doesn't back out. But this one does, and so we're gonna pick our Adamant Tarantula and we should be greeted with a shiny ditto. This ditto is six IV. Do make sure you click out of that attention screen because if you don't click out of that attention screen, you are not gonna be able to follow through with the trade. Why? I don't know, because the 
Game Freak decided that in Scarlet and Violet you had to skip the attention screen, and if you didn't, the trade wouldn't work. Apparently, uh, people were not listening to the one that was automated in Sword and Shield, and the one that was in BDSP. And I don't know if Legends RC has had one of those or not, but people weren't reading that, and I guess they were like, "Well, let's make it mandatory that they click it." It's stupid. It's dumb diddly dum dum dum. Now, we have our adamant nature ditto, or adamant nature ditto, adamant mint holding ditto. So we'll back out of the trade and back out of the pokey menu, and you'll see that we do have an adamant mint on this ditto. We can go ahead and have a look at it, and it is PKCL, and the adamant mint having a Pokemon smell this mint can make its attack stat grow stronger. However, its special attack stat may suffer. Uh, the IVs of this ditto are actually six IV, so you can have a little bit of fun with that one. So you can take this ditto and breed it and do a competitive Pokemon. Now this one is not Japanese. If you had seen one of the past videos, if you want a Japanese ditto, you can nickname one of your Pokemon Masuda and you'll get a Japanese ditto and you can then Johnny hunt with it. But this one is made for competitive. It just so happens to be shiny. Make sure that you go back out, click on your adamant ditto and put away held item. And now if you want, you can go back into the Poke Portal, link trade, same code, pick your adamant ditto and then switch it back and then just keep trading over and over and you can farm adamant mints as much as you want. And you can do that with, again, any mint that you want. The mint, the nicknames are down in the description below. So choose one of those and yeah, that's, that's it. We're, we're pretty much done. I got a little itch right here, but that that's it. I mean, we're, we're done. Thank you. If you did make it this far, then I really do appreciate it. If you have been enjoying these videos, do consider checking out the Patreon page. That's patreon.com forward slash Pokemon collection. And then if you don't want to do that, you can become a YouTube member by clicking the little join button down below. We have Kofi. We have me six. We have a bunch of different ways to support, but whether you do that or not, it's completely up to you. These things are here for free and there's no pressure on you to support so thank you thank you thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and i am excited to see you in the next one thank you again very very much i apparently don't know how to stop showing gratitude so thank you you are amazing and i want you all to do me the biggest favor in the world and stay optimistic